Bharat Dynamics Limited has delivered the last Varun Astra heavy torpedo of the current order to the Indian Navy today. The DRDO has revealed that it had tested its ground-based high-power microwave-directed energy weapon in 2022, and it is being developed to disable electronics of UAVs at long range. The Indian Air Force has said that combat connectors of the BrahMos missile remained connected to the junction box, which led to the accidental firing of the BrahMos missile towards Pakistan in March 2022. Indian Army has conducted a successful test of BrahMos missile over the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. A U.S. Air Force P-52 Stratofortress strategic bomber and C-130J aircraft participated in Exercise Tiger Triumph 2024 with the Indian Navy over the Bay of Bengal. The Indian Navy has rescued a hijacked Iranian fishing vessel and its crew of 23 Pakistani nationals, as part of an anti-piracy operation at sea. Indian firm DG Propulsion Private Limited plans to configure four of its J-40 jet engine for a human-carrying jetpack, capable of achieving significant flight distances. Serial Dip2 Projects Private Limited has delivered a ammunition cum torpedo cum missile barge to the Indian Navy, as part of 11 barge project. Jindal Advanced Materials has collaborated with Italian firm to invest 2,700 crore rupees to set up India's first carbon fiber manufacturing facility with 3,500 metric tons annual capacity. Hindustan Aeronautics has test flown its first Tejas Mark 1A aircraft, however, the delivery of the aircraft to Indian Air Force could possibly require at least two additional months, and the delivery is now expected until mid-2024. Industry sources have said that the delay in delivery is because of ongoing disruptions in the supply chain for the program, and while the delivery of the first aircraft itself has been delayed, the overall schedule will also be impacted due to unavoidable reasons. The Indian Air Force had also asked for certain software changes recently, along with smaller design shifts and few other changes, and all of this will take some more time, and certain certifications are also pending. The Ministry of Defence had granted a renewed acceptance of necessity for the procurement of six mid-air refuelers, in which Airbus had offered its A330 multi-role tanker transport platform, Boeing had offered its KC-46 Pegasus, while Hindustan Aeronautics teamed up with Israel Aerospace Industries to offer converted Boeing 737 aerial refuelers, but now the Brazilian company Embraer has made a wild card entry, offering a customized C-390 multi-role tanker transport variant specifically for Indian Air Force needs. The Aeronautical Development Establishment has issued an expression of interest for Indian companies to collaborate on the development of a new experimental unmanned aerial vehicle. This project seeks participation from reputable Indian companies with proven expertise and experience in various engineering fields crucial for UAV development, that includes optics, servo mechanisms, imaging technology and purging systems. The UAV will be equipped with a sophisticated dual-band seeker for target acquisition and engagement, and the seeker is designed to acquire targets within a range of 15 kilometers. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, Mark,